Good afternoon, everyone. As you can see, I am back in my home study, Baruch Hashem, in Israel. And I'd like to speak about my trip back. And this is not a minion story. This is a personal halachic story. On my flight back, they served breakfast at 6 o'clock Israel time, which meant that it was already after Alot HaShachar, a little before the time you can put on Talis Tefillin, in the locale that we were, and obviously before Neitzah Hama. In that case, what do you do? On the one hand, you're not supposed to eat once Alot HaShachar hits until you daven. On the other hand, it's better to daven with Talis Tefillin after it's prescribed time, and better to daven Shmon Esrei after Neitzah Hama. So the question is, what do you do? They're serving breakfast. You'd like to eat it. On the other hand, you're not supposed to eat before you daven. So I'm going to say my opinion on this if you're in that situation. Namely, it's impossible to daven before breakfast. What do you do? In my opinion, you should not eat any bread, obviously, before davening. And you should also not eat any mezono because mezono could come and become a meal if you're koveya se'uda on it. However, if it's a shahakal, and you already said birkot ha-shachar, which is allowed after alot ha-shachar, and you said the shortened version of kriya tshma, shreinu shanachtu mashkeimim umayribim, etc., and you were mekabel on malchut shamayim, then I believe you can eat any shahakals, if it's a yogurt, uh, an omelet, but no bread and no mezonos. And then, obviously, when the time comes to daven properly on the plane. However, I don't believe that once Alot HaShachar hits, you can eat a Mizonos and obviously not bread. But I want to add one more point on this. And that is, if you're going to daven at the time they're serving the meal or taking the meal away, try to find a place where you don't disturb that. The last thing you want to do is be on a plane where people say, these datiyim, these religious Jews, all they do is make trouble. All they do is bother us. All they do is disturb us. From this perspective, I always make it a policy not to daven in the actual, I would call it for lack of a better term, hallway of the plane, namely between the seats. I try to go to the galley. Not the galley where they're serving the meal, but maybe a middle galley or some other place on the plane where you do not bother people. And that only for Shmona Esrei if you can stand up. If not, I would suggest to stay in your seat and dive in everything sitting down. So if indeed the situation is that it's time to dive in and he's serving breakfast, best to dive in first. If you can't dive in first because the Zmanim don't work out, a Shahako before davening is okay. That's not Gaiva, but having an actual mizonos or bread is a problem and obviously daven in a place that doesn't disturb everyone have a wonderful day